Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm going to show you a little problem I ran into setting up my creative, uh, creality, I'm sorry, Ender 5 Plus printer. Um, this printer has a couple of different features that aren't on some of the uh, Ender 3s, like uh, filament detection. So that's what this little module is down here with the blue light. And that proved to be a problem for me right off the bat. It would uh, feed filament through and then all of a sudden it would turn off the blue light and detect that it thinks it didn't have any filament, even though I did. And it would return to home and pause the print and screw everything up. So I couldn't get more than like one layer down before needing to uh, mess with this thing. And it was really uh, going to cause me to almost need to return this thing. So let me show you how I fixed it. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is just undo the four screws here with the tools that they give you in the kit and then bring it to your workbench and we're going to take it apart and I'll show you what I did. So here's what the unit looks like after you've taken it apart. You can see that um, the factory has two um, Torx head screws here to hold down the circuit board which is really a um, very simple circuit and a cheap lever switch. This is what it looks like in the position with no filament running through it. Then once you do run filament through it, it goes past this little roller and it's supposed to push in this switch and depress this part here. But what happens is if the there's a little bit of a warpage to the filament, it can kind of move in and out and you can actually hear this little click sound as you move the filament back and forth through the sensor. So the first thing I wanted to do is take the screws off of here and see what we had. And what I found is you just have two bosses here. It doesn't look like there's any adjustment here. And then also on the circuit board itself, they're not slotted. So you really can't adjust the position of this thing, which led me to my solution here. What I did is I basically left the screws off and I put a bead of hot glue underneath this switch here. And I also put a bead of hot glue here, here, and then again in here to kind of hold the thing in. When I put the switch back down, I made sure I had filament in there and then I kind of cockeyed the switch as much as I could into this corner and then pushed into this lever so that you can see my final position here is with the glue dried. The hole should be further over this way and over this way inboard instead of where they currently are and that's what causes the switch to not be fully depressed. Putting this back together um, as you originally found with the four screws and leaving these factory two screws out has proven to work just fine and I hope this solution works for you guys. If you did please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.